This podcast is for proctors of the 24 math tournament sponsored by Lancaster Lebanon IU13. The intent of the podcast is to review the tournament rules. The proctor's decision is always final. Players will receive a penalty flag if they argue a decision. Evan. What? That was me. How, how can you not tell that was me? That, that, that was That's scary. a penalty. Players may touch the card with one, two, or three fingers. If a player slaps or touches the card with more than three fingers, he will be given a penalty flag. Players may not have hovering hands where their hand lingers on top of the card. Hands should be at the side of the mat. If a player touches the proctor's hand, even unintentionally, the player will be given a penalty flag. Oh, I'm sorry, you touched my hand, that's a penalty. Players must state how they arrived at 24 within three seconds of touching the card. This is considered the last step, the calculation that gives 24. If players begin giving the solution without stating the last step of arriving at 24, a penalty flag will be issued. 5 minus 1 equals 4, 6 times 1 equals 6, 6 times 4 equals 24. After a player taps the card, he has three seconds to state the last step of their solution. Failure to state this last step will result in a penalty flag. The record is returned to the play deck. Six times, um... That's time. That card goes to the back of the deck. After stating the last step, players have 15 seconds to state the entire solution. Proctors will count the 15 seconds silently. Failure to say the entire solution in 15 seconds will result in a penalty flag. The card returns to the play deck. Mason. Last step, 6 times 4 equals 24. 7 minus 3 equals 4. That's time. The last step that players give in the first three seconds of touching the card must match the last step given at the end of the tire entire solution. If there is inconsistency in these last steps, the player will receive a penalty flag and the card is returned to the deck. No. Last step, 24 times 1 equals 24. 6 divided by 6 equals 1. 3 times 1 equals 3. 8 times 3 equals 24. Your first step, your first answer did not match the ending solution. A run-on answer is when a player uses the four numbers in one step to equal 24. Players are to separate their steps. Run-on answers will result in a penalty flag. Oh. 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 3 equals 24. Players that recognize they made an error in stating their solution may correct the step only if the final solution has not been stated. If the last step has been stated, players may not return to correct a step. Up 6 times 4 equals 24. 5 minus 9 equals 4. I mean, 9 minus 5 equals 4. 5 plus 1 equals.
any incorrect solution will result in a penalty flag, or if the solution is stated in an incorrect order, a penalty flag will be issued. Once a player states 24 after giving his entire solution, he may not return and correct a step. The player may restart his solution as long as he has not concluded with 24. If a player receives three penalty flags in a single round, he is disqualified for that round. The player that has been disqualified does not lose the points that he had already won, but may not participate in the additional cards of that round. At the end of the round, all penalty flags are removed and players start fresh. No penalty flags for the next round. If all players but one have received three penalties in a round, play continues in that round with the one player answering the cards. The other players will sit patiently until the round has finished. No, that's your third penalty. So now everybody's out except you, Evan. So I'll lay the cards down and you can tap them if you know them. If a card is in play for more than 15 seconds and no player is able to give a solution, the card will return to the play deck. Proctors will count the 15 seconds silently. If a player touches a card and is unable to give the solution or gives the solution incorrectly, the card is returned to the play deck. The player is issued a penalty flag. Each round will last at most 10 minutes. There will be a timer on the screen. If a table cycles through all the play cards before the 10 minutes end, that table will sit quietly until the 10 minutes have expired. Thank you for agreeing to proctor our 24 math tournament. We hope you enjoy your day and have fun serving as a proctor. In many cases, the students will proctor themselves. Remember, your decision is final, so be confident in your decision. Special thanks to Jason Hoffman of the Mannheim Township School District for working with his students on this script and allowing the IU to videotape. Thank you students for being our actors for a day. Our student actors from left to right were Evan, Noah, Macy Ann, and Sierra. If you have additional questions, please do not hesitate to contact Lancaster Lebanon IU13. Thank you for serving as a proctor for the Math 24 tournament.